Howdy, Grok the Duck Farmer here with a modded Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to use AE2 to automate machines from other mods, uh, specifically for today, uh, Thermal Expansion, Ender IO, and Mechism. Let's get going. For the Thermal Expansion example, I'm using the Pulverizer. In this example, I have an interface here at the bottom of this chest. Uh, the crafting items will go into the chest, fed through the conduit into the the pulverizer and then out the back goes into the the stuff into that chest and the import bus in the the back will pull that items back into the ME system so let's go ahead and configure this let's take a quick little piece of coal verify that it works in it goes and there's our pulverized coal already so let's set up a quick recipe a piece of coal pulverized and that gives us that pattern into the interface we put it and now we can generate as much pulverized coal as we need to configure the the, the pulverizer here in the configuration tab I have the, the blue input on the right and the output of orange in the back and we are good to go for the Ender I.O. example, I'm using the Alloy Smelter. This is a nice machine because it does not require conduits to pull the items back and forth. It can do so by itself. Uh, to, to create that, you just run the configuration I.O. here. This I am using blue to pull, and on this side I am using the brown or orange to push the items out, and uh, no need for any conduits on that. So let's go ahead and do a quick uh, test for the electrical steel we just need those three items they've already been grabbed and for the energetic alloy we need those three and we'll let those get processed and if we come back here to the system there's our electrical steel and there's our energetic alloy let's go ahead and set up two quick patterns for that clear those away for the energetic steel we need a piece of iron. We need a piece of pulverized coal, which we don't have. Let's make. And we need a piece of silicon. And there we go. Let's make that pattern. And then for the energetic alloy, we need a piece of glowstone, a bit of gold, and some redstone. Now let's drop those into the interface underneath this chest. And again, like the other, there's an import bus from the other to pull the items back in. And we're done. And for the final example, I'm using the metallurgic infuser from Mechanism. Uh, as before, we have the interface in the bottom for the input chest and the import bus for the output chest. Uh, this machine is a little bit more difficult to configure than the others. Uh, it does require conduits on the top and back for the inputs, but it can just output the, the results straight into a chest. To configure this, we go to the configuration tab and the purple and red inputs are configured for the top and back and the blue output is ejecting out to the left. Let's go ahead and test. Throw those through for some quick stuff. And we already have our enrichment ally and our basic control circuit. So let's make some patterns for these. This one requires a redstone and a piece of iron. And then for the basic control circuit, we use osmium instead. There we go. And let's dump those real quick into the interface. All right. At this point, our network now knows how to make each of these items. And these three machines, the pulverizer, the alloy smelter, and the uh, metallurgic infuser are all coming from different mods, but are being used by the AE system to um, automate these for us. This is Grok the Duck Farmer saying thanks for watching. Bye!